evening folks pretty good out here it's really beautiful and cool and nice sky and I had actually just started taping the video and had to uh, shut everything down because I had something happen out here and I was visited by the heavens the great chariots were out beautiful sight and I just shook my head and just laughed because it's on but today I had a lot of comments you know on the channel and I appreciate those inputs and comments and the new subscriptions this week and I really appreciate that um, but I had a lot of good comments and feedback on some of the older narcissistic um, narcissistically driven videos that I've done in the past or the topics of such on a fam and uh, you know the way people reflect and they're, they're getting this and people are starting to wake up in this you know the understanding that there's a bigger fight which is the most important thing the bigger fight meaning that good versus evil those with the best intentions in our heart who want to see a better day you know desperately and patiently await the day that the evil is swept out of here but only the Lord knows when such a day will be brought forth because he will bring the day folks but it's very soon it's on the horizon it's here pretty much so I I thought about some things you know all the stuff that's going on in society constantly and I listen to the way people talk about you know current events and the flat footedness is, is what I'm seeing when I hear y'all discuss certain topics and I gave you many examples over a series of videos you know politics you're, you're picking sides you're fighting about specific political points and you're very flat footed in how you're seeing something or you you know about all of this exposure that's coming to Hollywood and certain things that have been happening and people are going down and getting rolled under the bus consistently by the day and you know you know that it's one big hive of, of fucking devils doing all of this evil and this this disgusting stuff that they're doing and you know that they're all in unison you know they're all connected and they're all sworn in together and they're sect and everything so when you see one get rogue you don't reason that the one next to them is just as tainted and this is what i talk about the pickle i gave you those examples somehow that basic example of you know that you wouldn't do yourself you wouldn't eat a tainted pickle you know tainted with poison or some corrosive substance you wouldn't eat it because it could be harmful to your health and it's clear and apparent right you're watching me dip that pickle in some substance and then I'm going to hand it to you and because you're hungry you know you're going to eat this pickle right probably not you're probably going to you know think about it for the best of you anyway but that's my point the worst of you don't think I've said this and what do I mean this is what I mean y'all so you don't reason that one celebrity standing next to another celebrity is the same celebrity you understand you take that and move it over to politics you can move it over any way you want in the scope of society and you'll get your same results because you're dealing with demoniacs like I keep trying to explain to y'all they have to be swept out folks now many of you in your own personal hearts embellish the idea of some of these demoniacs you're you're all part of it that's why they said that you know the blind masses will take you to slaughter because the majority of you will accept this vaccine. The majority of you think it's not a problem for somebody to put a, a nano chip in my, my, my body and mess with my DNA or something. Y'all don't think there's nothing wrong with that because you're not sensible. See, you want to see what's going on on the housewives or some shit, right? That's more important to you. You see how flat footed you guys are? Now, what's going to happen is because the majority of you are so dumb on these levels, you will go along with whatever scheme these demons cook up. And when it's right before your eyes, the gasoline situation is right in front of your face. You're looking at it. And because the majority of you are sleepwalking, you'll push us all over that cliff. Right? So what will happen is 
they'll get momentum because they're watching that you're being misled and they're leading you in that that uh misleading um they're misleading you in that representation is what i'm saying so you'll follow them over that cliff right you'll do anything that they request of you no matter how insane it sounds even though once you you insert that chip in that technology in your body you have effectively changed something that cannot be undone i keep telling you this but that's not a crucial thing to you right you see what I, you see how you're looking at this so you're going to get them to get momentum and they're going to push all of us into this situation where we're going to have to fight take flight or do something right because they're going to buckle down because they know they got y'all so they're going to try to get the little small fringes of us, fringes of us in this world population who have sense we're the we're the real troublemakers we're the real problem not you guys they already got you in the bag folks you see what i'm saying the people that are speaking out so I thought about how you guys construct things. I looked at all your comments on different people's channels. You know, some of the trolls who go to people's channels, some of the stuff you say to people about their positions. And you know, you have a lot of activism going on right now and you have a lot of infiltration in this activism. So for instance, some of these, these, uh, these elite sponsored activist groups, we know that they're tainted. You see what I'm saying? Everybody, it's general, it's general knowledge on the street that that some of these groups are tainted. And the fools do these things and don't realize that the people got enough sense to know that you're in that. So they don't want to have anything to do with it. You're the devils. You're the oppressors. You're the people who have done all of this stuff that people are feeling pain from. And they can thoroughly and readily testify that you are harming them, that you are doing something. We can, we can document this stuff. We have a paper trail of all the fucking evil and foolishness and physical representation or example so you know you you have a situation where you have people who are protesting because they're not free and they know that they're not free but someone on the other side of the fence someone who has been given and afforded the benefits of this system right for whatever reason maybe race or something or you know, one of these things that they have constructed in place and you're benefiting from it and you're, you're, you're willing to stand on their side, on the evil side and point at the people and talk about why they shouldn't want rights or why they shouldn't do this or that when they're technical things to look at. One, you have a group of people and I'm, get, I'm going somewhere with this so y'all follow along. You have a group of people because it's, it's all relative to why we started this conversation. The narcissistic group think in the foolishness, but you have a, a group of people, right, who were brought from somewhere, someplace, doesn't matter where they were brought from, doesn't matter if they were there in the place that they were taken over. But the point is that they were enslaved at gunpoint. You know, no had no no free will decision making in this process were, were enslaved and I'm talking about for generations hundreds of years people's bodies were broken hundreds of years people were killed and and raped and beaten and tortured right their souls meant nothing other souls other underarm funking air breathing shit wipers felt that they were designated and had authority to do what they would with anyone else's soul. And this is what was going on. So you got a group of people who are disenfranchised. They have no rights whatsoever. Nothing. They're not given. That means that they're not afforded anything that the average citizen would be afforded. They're beneath that. Society has deemed them beneath that and has rigged the rules in such a way that these people can't live where they want. They can't earn money. They can work as hard as they want. They won't get paid more than someone else who will do half the work they'll do because of who they are folks you see how foolish this is so they get tortured and beaten and you know their lives don't matter nothing this goes on for hundreds of years and you sit back and you watch all the evil and you say well i i didn't do it but you're benefiting from it you clearly know the backstory that people that look like you or related to you did some things and people that look like other people had some things done to them and there's a current day situation going on right now where someone is in pain and suffering but you can't see it because you're a narcissist 
You see what I'm saying? So you you reason that, you know, I got this person as a hostage and all they want to do is go free. So you don't like these people. You don't want to give them fair wages. You don't you can't stand them. They're not socially accepted. They're ostracized in every way you treat them as dung under your shoe. So when you abuse someone over a period of years and generations and they get fed up, what happens? In the movies, what happens? Someone goes to get that scalding hot pot of water or they're going to do something to retaliate, you know, the burning bed or something. You, you guys have seen these movies and stuff, but you know what I'm saying, where you, you trauma, you know, the, the person wants to break free from that trauma bond situation that they're in with these oppressors, the people who, who are beating them and killing them every day, right? So they, they just want to leave. So they go to the oppressors who have the gun to their heads and they say, I want to walk out of here. But the person with the gun does not want to let them leave. See how I'm trying to show you the, the irrationalness of a narcissistic mind. And many of you have this mind. But I just want you to think about it for a minute. You tell people to get the, the you know what out of your country every day. You say that they don't belong here, even though they built the country you live in. But you say they don't belong here. Fine, fine. They they have gotten to a point where they you, are, you discuss them on a level where they just want to get the heck away from you. Period. If you don't like them and can't stand them and are repulsed by them, they are equally have the same sentiments towards you. And they just want to get the heck away from you. They want to start over. Right? So all they want, they don't want anything that you have already taken from them. You see what I'm saying? So what they do is they try to seek a means to go somewhere else and start a new, a whole new thing. Whole new society of people where they're going to live in peace and their kind is going to be accepted amongst each other and there's not going to be any unfairness and beating and mistreatment and all that stuff that, that, that the average normal person would, would not even want to be a part of or even be dealt to them. That's all these people want. So what do you do? You tell them, no. So let's see. You don't like this person. You can't stand them. You're beating them every day. You don't treat them fairly. You starve them to death. You do everything. You kill them. You do everything short of whatever. The, they get the worst of the worst in every way, every day, their whole lives. People have gone to their graves with broken backs. Fact. Now, the care of inkling of remorse in your soul or heart about what was done to these people. Because, see, what I'm trying to explain to you is in current day, you're still embellishing, embellishing the same sentiments as the people that were before. You know, the people that you claim that you're not relative to. But, but you brag about all of those people's accomplishment, accomplishments and stuff. You understand what I'm saying to you? So you uplift them on a certain level. And you do that by way of monuments and certain things. Even though this person killed that many people and butchered this person or did that and that, you still say, oh, we want to have this, right? We want to still uplift this person or do whatever. Okay, fine. So the people that you have broken bones of, the people that you have tortured and mistreated, who have seen those very people and know those very people have done that to their forefathers, they want to get that you-know-what away from you. That's all they want. They don't want to see you anymore. They don't want you around them. They don't want you dictating their life. No aspect of anything. Breathing the air you breathe nothing. They just want to get the heck away from them. And you tell them no. You want to keep them as slaves. You don't want to pay them fairly, but you want to keep them as slaves. You don't want to like them, but you don't want to accept them. So when they try to go and make a better way for themselves, you are hell bent and that's why i notice how i use that word hell bent because that's where you're from you're hell bent on making sure these people stay in that place right you don't want even them to have anything good for themselves so you don't want them here right you don't want them here you claim that they haven't done anything they're not contributing to anything so let them go they're useless right and I promise you, when they walk out, you will lose everything because they are the jewel. But you don't realize that. The ignorant of you don't realize that. You understand what I'm saying? You watch how quickly your shit folds when these people leave. Right? Because you think you can sustain it on your own. Right? So you tell these people that they cannot leave. And you guys reason that that's fair. 
Why are these people complaining because they don't have any rights and they're literally written on the books that these people don't have any rights. It's literally written in the books, folks. On paper. Every, every way these people are disenfranchised on every level when they demand justice or seek it, they are turned down. This has gone on forever. Your whole lifetimes, your parents' lifetimes, their parents' lifetimes, right? So when the people get fed up and they want to just get the heck away from you, you find everything wrong with the picture. You can't see their frustrations. You can't see anything. You talk about them not being patriotic, even though you just admitted that you don't accept them into your country. You don't consider them to be citizens of your country, but you want them to give their lives for your country or you want them to be patriotic or, or, or feel something. You see how insane that is. Now, I want you guys to think about that movie, Misery, and I'll hurry up and wrap this up. Remember that movie, Misery, that came out some years back, and the writer got kidnapped by the obsessed fan, and she had him tied up in the bed and had hobbled his legs, had literally taken a sledgehammer and broke his, his freaking ankles so he couldn't walk, right, and had him tied up and fed him every day and and she would give him this spiel about how she loved him so much and why would he want to leave and and so he found himself trying to escape. See, see how this works out? He was trying to escape, and you could see it in his eyes at every attempt that he was desperately, sometimes almost at the risk of his life, he, he just had to get out of this house and get away from this woman. And he would do it at all costs. And guess what happens at the end? At the end of the movie, this guy finally uh, breaks free, and the villain succumbs to the, the man, right? So when you're, you have someone clawing, trying to claw their way out of a, a pit and they're, and they're desperate and they're, 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 they're fighting for higher ground, folks, under the right circumstances with the right support and the right vibration in their heart and the right understanding of who is the real authority, they will accomplish the goal, folks. You see what I'm saying to you? When you sit around and you say, when you sit around and you talk about all that stuff, I just noticed that the people that always criticize the people that are in pain, the, the, the oppressors, they always seem to not ever see themselves as the perpetrators in any situation. Have you guys noticed that? So you go in someone's home, you're in the wrong. They, you, you're, you're, you're looking for someone else. Right. You have the wrong house, wrong person, everything. You go into someone's home and they don't know who you are and they try to defend themselves because a stranger just bust up in their house and you kill the person. And you don't think that you did anything wrong. And nobody in your group or who, who's a, a loyalist, loyalist to you believes that you did anything wrong because that person life doesn't matter. You see how this works? You're showing that you don't believe that person's life matters because, see, you're you're a supreme air breather, aren't you? Aren't you? Right. Your veins pump golden blood, don't they? Right. You don't need water to survive, do you? You don't need sunlight to survive, do you? Right. You're supreme, aren't you? And that's why you can designate whose life has value and who doesn't. Right. Who gets a, a bogus you know, vaccine or something, laced with poisons. And those of you who are flat-footed, you surely are ignorant because you are looking at the devils in your face. You are looking at them present their evil right before your eyes on every level, and you can't separate them from their actions. I mean, I'm sorry, you, you separate them from their actions, what I mean. You know? So you look at you look at a, a a molester or something, and their best friend is in the same organization, and you think that best friend is okay. You you still rock with that person, except you don't rock with their with their other colleagues, the other entertainers and celebrities and stuff, who have been part of and and rounded up in this thing. That's all this shit is going on. This is why the Most High is bringing justice because he knows everything, folks. You understand what I'm saying? He knows things that I don't know. He knows everything. He is the he is the moment, folks. You understand? 
So I want you guys to just sit back and think about it when the next time you're looking at the news and maybe the person that you see protesting isn't necessarily the same so-called race as you are. And because of your biases and the way you were taught and, and, and under the constructs of this bullshit system, you were taught that that person who breathes air and drinks water and, you know, takes shits and everything just like you, that somehow you're, you're, you're elevated over them somehow. See, that's, that's what a bogus demonic system will do. It will lead you down a path of foolishness. So when you're fucking with people who literally the most high has his thumb on, and you don't even know it. You don't realize that there's a hefty consequence to pay. Because the time is up. It's time for, for action now. You know? Y'all got some things developing as I speak, you know. We'll talk about it in a couple of days. You'll know what I'm talking about. But that's called justice. That's called knocking the oppressor's fucking teeth down their throat. That's called taking them out of here because if you don't do it they're not going to stop doing what they're doing they have a sickness they have a society they're driven on this bullshit this supremacy so called when it's really about taking souls folks it's really about suppressing certain people that have dynamic souls folks but the game is over right And so I just thought about that. You know, I, I hear I you know, I was looking at those those comments and people were talking about the narcissism and stuff and you know, they really go hard on those narcissist videos. And I understand why, because they're they're looking for a solution. They're trying to figure out what is going on with this place. But you already know what's going on, folks. Right? We're at the end. And the reason why we're at the end is because of all of the things that have taking place up to this point that you go along with right now if I took a poll of the average one of you and asked if you wanted to everything to go back to the way it was you, you'd be all for that because you didn't see anything was wrong with how things were going even though there are millions of people who don't agree with you there are millions of people who have gone to their graves right there are millions of people who are exploited in various ways whether it be sexually economically right by certain people folks so when you see one scandal from these people you have to reason that if they're they're corrupt on, in this area of their life they're definitely corrupt in all areas and if you give them a reign of authority they will most certainly taint whatever y'all have set forth you're narcissists you're narcissists when you think that slavery was a necessary evil to enslave someone's soul and, and see when your slow when your soul gets enslaved we're gonna we're gonna reason that as a necessary good because the most high is gonna do that you see how this works there you talk some shit talk some shit right and so like I said don't get upset with what's happening. When you see the ground get ripped up, when you see the beach get ripped up, when you see, you know, the floods. Y'all go look up China right now. Look up look up what's going on in China right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Courtesy. Honor y'all. Courtesy of the great ones. Right? Remember I told y'all a couple of months ago about how how the how those folks over there were doing like the Africans and stuff and just just foolishness and I gave y'all you know I told y'all about the, the the vision that the Lord showed me and I, I've been telling y'all this stuff right so if you think that you're mighty if you call yourself and you you are uh, you covet the land that you live on when you lose that land what are you coveting who are you now when I take away your whole ground that you're standing on who are you right you, you see what I'm saying that's where we at right now. You're fucking mighty. Let's see how mighty you are when you're dealing with a fucking earthquake. Let's see how mighty you are when the ground is opening up every left and right, everywhere you look. When the floods keep coming, right? And your whole cities are being washed away, your bridges and all of your, your you know, 
your architecture when the locusts are just consuming everything in sight. And you are powerless. The things that you coveted, the money, the, the economy, having the possessions over everybody else, you will lose all of those things. They will go back to the rightful owners. Not going to talk too much longer today. I just want y'all to just take and think about all the stuff we talked about and just think about how you see that. You, you think it's something wrong with someone protesting the fact that they have literally no rights, that they can't live where they want, that they're not paid fairly, that on every level someone has a boot to their neck. And in, in many cases, literally where you watch them die on live TV. Completely knew that the person was out of bounds. The person that murdered him was completely out of bounds. Saw it. And y'all still got to try to debate over who was right or wrong. And you saw someone kill someone in your face. So when it's time for justice for you, it'll be, it'll be well deserved. Y'all have a good night.